proclamation, becoming the second prosecutor and the first woman in the position. Ladies and gentlemen, I look forward to our future cooperation and to implementing this important mandate which you have bestowed on me. Her election comes at a time when the court is battling perceptions that it is unfairly targeting Africa, but was quick to dismiss suggestions that her origins will influence her mandate. I do not think that we should uh, um, think of it as targeting leaders. We will target the perpetrators of the crimes. That we will do. And we will continue to work with the victims, whether it is in Africa or outside of Africa. South Africa applauded her election. We believe it is very significant that it is an African woman who has been elected to that very, very important position. More so because Africa has demonstrated from the very inception of the court a very strong support for the court and the fight against impunity. Africa does represent the single largest block of signatories to the Rome Statute, but also represents all the current cases before the ICC, something African governments have not shied away from criticizing. An issue Ms. Vensuda will no doubt have to grapple with as she assumes the lead prosecutorial role at the ICC. Sherman Bryce, please, SABC News, New York.